Oh, what am I doing, you might ask? Oh. I'm just, um, chilling with Proxima Midnight here. At midnight, approximately, of course. And, uh, here she is. She's wondering where the heck Corvus Glaive is. And, you know, I've been wondering the same thing, but I'm... Oh! Well, well, there you are. I mean, it's about time. You've been, like, having her wait for, I, I don't know, like 40 minutes now? I, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Thank you for tuning back in to yet another live stream. We are going to go into Infinity Chaos and start conquering on the uncollected version and uh, fight off some of these nameless champions as well as Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive. So... Let's get right inside to the game. Um, but before we start, I would like to first thank all the sponsors. I've actually accumulated a decent amount. I'm very close to getting up to the next milestone to be able to produce the next amount um, to have a whole other one. I've got Goddess I have Jada work here, in says, the morning and it's a double, so I won't be here for long. Sorry. 
Oh, okay. No, that's all right. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Goddess Jada. Let's um quickly update you as a top-notch summoner. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, but as I was saying, we do have um, a good amount of sponsors currently. I actually need to use a hyphen. There we go. Thank you so much, Goddess Jada. Really appreciate you. Um, so, shout out to Jacob Webster, Deadpool, John Silva, Christian Escamilla, Roasted Bagel, God of Chaos, Doc82, and Green Can Cran... Green Cran. Okay, yes. I, I thought it said Canyon for a second, but I wanted to double check. Um, so, shout out to all you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, it means the world to me. Tommy Jackson and Sammy. Ah, my boy. My bodybuilder friend. God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, Tommy Jackson says, hey, bro, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing good. It's an awesome Friday. I'm loving it. My bodybuilder um, friend. God bless you. There it goes. <laughs> Let's update you, Sammy. Thank you so much. Got us Jada back with another $2. That puts you at 7 uh, but let's get you up there, Sammy. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. Now, you have quite the last name, so I'm going to double check that I uh, spell it correctly. So thank you kindly um, for doing that. Really appreciate it, man. Um, but yes, for the sponsorships now, I... Um, I'm very close. The next milestone, I believe there's two away. And uh, this is the next custom emoji. We have right here the Voidalizer. And you could use this for those moments where if you're feeling triggered or, or if I'm triggered or something happens that's pretty nasty or I don't know, just anything. That right there is the emoji to use. Um, so that is what is up for for um, the next emoji to be able to be utilized once I do get a total of 10 um, because there's a threshold that needs to be met. So without further ado, we're gonna get inside the game here and I actually have been pretty busy today. I got the iPhone 8 Plus, so no more memory issues. My goodness, thank you so much. Uh, Sprint, wow. Um, so. I'm going to begin with the first chapter here. We're going to go into chaos. Camus says, Analyzer, did you get vision? <laughs> yeah, he's right here. See? <laughs> I got him a long time ago, actually. Um, I did not get the offer, though. Definitely not. Um, the five-star vision is way, way expensive right now. J. Rudd asks, What do you think of Proxima Midnight? Five-star going for 16 mil? I mean, yeah, it's worth a grind if you can afford it. Um, she's a great damage dealer. Uh, so, yes, yes. But there is ramp up involved. You can't just, you know, deal 400k damage out of anywhere. So, um, it's really only going to benefit longer fights. But, I mean, she's really impressive. So, even the missions that she does, uh, that's, that's actually not um, bad. Just completing a few missions to uh, boost attack. Uh, critical hit rate and whatnot um she's a good champion so unfortunately i would i don't know as much about her as some of the content creators do um because i i don't get an inside look at it yet but um nonetheless we um we're working towards that guys we'll uh we'll hopefully get there eventually <laughs> um but we're going to take og vision blade quake of course quake the mvp um magic and star lord so um, once we get in the game here, we'll start. We've got one more super chat. Goddess Jada says, LOL, nice emoji. Yeah, I bet you're loving that new phone. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, that puts you at a total of 12, Goddess Jada. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate you. LOL, nice emoji. Yeah, I bet you're loving that new phone. 
yes, I am. It's it's been amazing. I actually uh, can function on it, you know. <laughs> so, all right. Without further ado, let's get inside here. We're gonna quake it up, most likely. We're probably going to uh, get some bimbo of limbo going. Just all the above. As much as I love to fight Modok, let's check out this node here. We got brute force. Okay. We'll go this way. It's a little bit more of a difficult path, I'd say. Ganish asks, you getting that five-star OG? Nah, man. Dude, I've got a four-star OG vision taken all the way up in a pretty high ability. I would have no way... Um, towards getting a five-star vision awakened and that's like the key point there i mean yeah once you have them that's cool but i mean i, I just I, I have no way of an awakening him so that would be the major issue if i actually did need him but i really don't like i'm, I'm content with my four star because if you think about it his ability is for one ridiculous and for two, all you would really need to do to make it as effective as a five star is to get more hits in. And I, I plan to get those hits in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, what's the point of having more attack and more health um, when you, you know, you already have a four star? And I mean, if you max them out, I guess that's different. But um, it's just most people would only do rank four for that at this point. And uh, I just, I, I don't really see, like, it's not... It's, $500, man, that's too much. Um, it's really for people who, uh, like, have gotten units saved up. That that would probably be a um, much better way of utilizing everything. Iron Fist down. Analyzer, all the fights are pretty much easy until you get to the last boss. Gilly is a nightmare. Oh, man. Well, I'm looking forward to that, then. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming um, stun, immune. I know there's, like, spectra, which uh, is, like, degeneration. Um, so, yeah, fun stuff. Could have sworn I landed a parry. I guess not. Moving forward, we got Angela here. Blackhawk MMX says, Analyzer, please read this. Bought four star OG vision because you said he would help in 5.2 on the last three chapters. I want to be uncollected. Yeah, totally, man. Like, a four star vision is more than sufficient. I, like,. Unless you're using him as a defender, which I, I wouldn't even really waste OG Vision unless you have two of them as a defender. Um, the only place I'd put him is on a power gain node so he can get all three bars of power or something. Or uh, starts on two bars of power so then Synthesis takes him to three. Something like that would be really annoying. Um, there's ways to counter that even. But, but I mean, yeah, I mean, a four star is just as sufficient with most um, gameplay throughout Act 5. Um, as a five star would be. down prof hoff what is up my friend it's about to go to bed then saw you were streaming just wanted to say good luck and keep up the great content my friend thank you thank you so much appreciate that dude um yeah just doing a run through real quick here getting content out i was wanting to do this last week but i had a bit of stuff coming up um, but hey at least it's not the last day <laughs> 
like uh, uh the, the Black Panther, the Rise of the Black Panther. That was uh, I was really really going clutch with that stream. So, but thank you for tuning in, man. Okay, we can just intercept. That's cool. I'm all right with that. I thought that was a parry, okay. Well, regardless. I like the parry specials with blade even so that it triggers bleed. Long live the Tromination, yes. I just need one more basic to take vision to rank four, then I'm ready for 5.2. Good deal, man. Yeah, that's uh that's a smart move, especially um, when dealing with the collector. That's uh, that's who you want to take, man. That's who you want to take. So, uh, we have um, Anurban Mohanti. Is that is that right? Wow! Thank you so much for the super chat. I I really don't know what currency that is, though. I can't say I've seen. Um, that symbol. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Let me check this out because I just want to make sure we're, uh, <laughs> you know, getting everything right. Ah, it's the, how you say rupee, or roop, um, Indian roop, I hope I'm saying it right, um, but thank you, thank you so much, my friend, I really appreciate you coming in, um, so, from such a far place away, uh, that's, uh, it's awesome to have your support, let me get, uh, okay, there we go, I got the chat back up, thank you, my friend. says, thanks, Analyzer. Yes, that's correct. It's the first time I've used a Super Chat. More support coming up soon. Oh, thank you, man. Well, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. We got Troy Paradiso in the chat. What is up, my friend? Saying, let's see. We got, yeah, Prof Hoff, like your vids. For your ran on OG viz offer was a bit over the top, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I actually um, haven't been on YouTube today much, so I don't, I, I'm not sure what you said, uh, but Prof Off says, says right now, also Analyzer, I sent you a friend request and game in case you wanted to ever do some co-op content, be a blast, especially with Bearlizer SMC, oh dude, yeah, totally man, um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure things out uh, here shortly, yeah, I definitely want to um, start kind of connecting with people. Um, when the dungeons come into play, that's going to be really nice. Um, I imagine it takes a bit of, like, planning and coordinating, especially if you're going to, like, double stream um, on both people's ends. So, I actually had a uh, Lagacy um, contact me about that. So, maybe, maybe in the near future, we'll probably uh, do a co op of uh, the dungeons. The Infinity Dungeons to come. Troy Paradiso says, glad to see you streaming, bro. $10. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much for being such a great support, dude. I, I appreciate you in here. Glad to see you streaming, bro. Awesome. Yes, I'm equally glad to see you here during my stream. So thank you for your support, man. Okay. So... With this guy, he uh, is obviously going to, with Aspect of Chaos, every 10 seconds the attacker and defender temporarily switch health bars for 4 seconds and then switch back. So we want to be careful with that. It's honestly really good to just um, 
go in and be like, have no health whatsoever, and then go from there. That's, uh, that's probably the best bet. Um, so we'll play around a little bit here. We gotta act like we're messing with our health right now. So my health is about to be his health here in a second. And then it switches back. He's gonna be regenerating and stuff too. This uh, this fight could be an easy fight, and it can also be really, really nasty. Because if you get the wrong swap, then you're kind of screwed. Oh man! All right, let's go all in. No time to waste. Oh, son. Okay, that's that's really bad. We got him though. We clutched it. Yeah, uh, totally go in with no health and then just like stay away from him for 10 seconds. You should be good. Uh, that's the best way to do it because you're like constantly fighting back and forth and he's going to regen. So every time you swap health, you're just going to slowly lose it, even if you're not getting hit. You're going to be taking your own health away, essentially. So. Check out what's going on next here. Brady says, yo, Analyzer, my intercepts have improved vastly since I saw your vids. Thanks. Oh, appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's definitely a good thing. So thank you for sharing that. Oh, well, 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 we have the six-star bullfrog here. Hmm. I know uh, Star-Lord's a little fond of him, so we'll, uh, I think they're more fond of each other, really. I mean, they're on the same squad, so pair them up for a brawl. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, we got Anabar Mahanti for the perfect intercept back with us another super chat for the perfect intercept. Thank you, my friend. Really appreciate that, buddy. Um, that, that's that puts you. I think that's close. It's it's a little over five dollars in total. I know that. Um, thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. And we also have a new sponsor, Terrence Embert, my friend. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you, dude. Let's uh, update the sponsorships here. Yes, so awesome stuff, guys. That actually puts us one away from the Voidalizer. When I was the most triggered, going for freaking Void... 20 GMCs. If you haven't seen the video, you can scroll down on my channel. It actually don't. It's it's just really bad. It was really bad, guys. So <laughs> it was really bad, really bad. Diego says, "Go go, brother." Thank you for the two bucks or the. I'm not sure what currency that is. It's an R. Is that a reference to uh, Go Diego Go? <laughs> I 
Ah, gotcha. Okay. Good stuff. Let's get the chat back up. All right, guys. Um, Blackhawk says, by the way, Analyzer, I had two tech gems sitting around and a few tech stones. So I popped those into him trying to make 5.2 as easy as possible. P.S. After watching your vids, my intercepts improved. Oh, dude, another another improvement, guys. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I, Dude, that's... I, that, that means I'm doing my job. That means I'm doing my job. So uh, thank you for sharing that. Master GG asks Analyzer, how much Master Rifts have you completed yet? Actually, you're going to be shocked. Um, I've saved this because I wanted to actually, at some point, either record it or stream. So I actually haven't done any yet. Um, I've done one heroic, and that's it so far. Um, you'd be surprised without having uncollected or master completed within uh, the special event quest you really don't get that much um, of the shards to complete it other than you know doing the special event so I actually haven't done it yet I actually I don't know I might I might go through a rift if we have enough I think we will for completion maybe um, I know I have some saved up but we'll see that would be kind of interesting. I'm curious to see what I can pull from that. So, Death Junkie, what is up, my friend? Thank you for tuning in. Death Junkie says, so as you know, I pulled Blade, last five-star crystal, and now I'm redoing my masteries. What would you put in first? What would you put into first, Deep Wounds or Assassins? Um, for Blade, definitely go to Deep Wounds, especially if you parry with him a lot. I don't know if you saw my Red Hulk video or the, the Parry of Death video with Blade, but um, if you, at some times, parry, you could put out a significant amount of damage with just a single hit. Just a single parry. Um, Red Hulk uh, in the Labyrinth actually uh, bled out 15k and, and just one parry. So, and I'm not talking like over time. I'm talking like that was one charge. You know, it was just like parry. And then there it was. So. For the sake of Blade... Max out bleed wounds, or um, deep wounds, sorry. Yes, that's what I meant. Um, but assassin's not too bad to have either. Um, it's gonna help you too. I just like to have points on utility. And uh, I also like glass cannon if I'm going for damage based stuff. Like if I'm introducing a champion and their special attack, and the amount of damage output they have, I'll, I'll equip the glass cannon so I can show the maximum capability behind them. Good stuff. Awesome guy asks, do you have Proxima Midnight? Unfortunately, I don't. I uh, am still waiting for the potential to become a content creator through uh, Kabam. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, I would love to say that in the near future for the next release champion, you know, I would be able to get the hands my hands on him, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll see, guys. I, I definitely do it justice. Like, I mean, I can definitely find the compliments and uh, the, the pros within um, certain champions and demonstrate them pretty well, I figure. So. Ambar Mohanty with a sponsorship. Thank you so much, my friend. Good deal. All right, guys. Wow. And then we have Rip93 Ford. Hope all is well, man. Keep kicking ass. 
Dude, thank you, my friend. Thank you for the five bucks. Really appreciate you guys. Oh, good stuff. Well, this is a huge milestone. Um, we are now, as I keep going, there it is. Uh, a trauma nation going hard. Love it, love it. Um, let's go to sponsorships. And now, guys, void. The voidalizer, that is, is unlocked. 10 for 10, guys. So this is going to be a savage, a 100% savage experience for y'all. Um, let me go ahead and add void to the custom emojis for you guys because I, I want I don't want it to be just like, oh, next stream, you know, here you go. Like it's happening right now for you guys. So um, as I go to the custom emoji list, already have this up so um you guys are actually going to type in voidalizer after the um after you type in atromics which is the family name so get that in there good deal all right so that is locked in place um, if one of the sponsors could actually confirm and uh, use it when you get a second, please do. Greatly appreciate that. Kimbo says, right, I think I see some offensive uses for Mephisto over GG. Offenses. Okay. I sorry, I, I wasn't even it looked like stuff got deleted in the chat. But yes, guys, um Voidalizer should now be available for y'all, so there is that. Let's go in here. Nameless Scarlet Witch. Take him blade. And we are degenerating quite a bit. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I knew uh, my power was definitely going to start draining. Let's get in there with a heavy attack and blade for the win. Good deal, guys. Good deal. If you don't know who Bearlizer is, you know. <laughs> ah, Bearlizer. Yeah, he's he's kind of he's taking a little snoozer right now. It's it's kind of late. It's it's like past midnight. It's not even approximately midnight anymore. It's past. So. There it is, the Genesis Stone. Wait a minute. Is that me? It can't be. State your names at once. You will be fired upon. What is your business here? This one does not know of us. But these two have seen our brother. Hmm. Well, he talks like Vision, but I don't think he's friendly. Or friendly. Watch out. What's happening? Oh, he synthesizing, guys. He's synthesizing. Okay, so. We've got OG Vision, Aspect of Genesis. Once per fight, when this defender drops below 15% health, they regenerate 24% health over 6 seconds, and nearby attackers degenerate or regenerate at the inverse amount. Oh. Enhance Special 1, Connect Reactor, Power Reserve. Okay. Oh, guys. OG's the one to use. Class penalty or not. I mean, everybody's got a class penalty for this, but OG is definitely the one to use. Oh, man. 
hard to keep up with that power. I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, he doesn't have power, but he does because it's back and forth, back and forth. Oh shoot. I don't want him to use my L3 because it's not really gonna... Alright, we'll throw it now. Should have like a bar or so. There we go, guys. There we go. Special after special, man. OG is the best for himself. Six star vision right there, <laughs> says contest champion. All right. Thank you for tuning in, Brian. Terrence Embert says, gotcha with the Voidalizer. That's right, my friend. Yes, the Voidalizer is now available. We just hit a total of 10 sponsorships. Let me move them over a little bit. Um, scale that sucker down. Yeah, that 10 out of 10 sponsorships, guys. That is some major support. That is 100% savage support right there, guys. Thank you all so much. Edward asks, hey, Analyzer, where are you from? I'm actually from Columbus, Ohio. Um, so... And uh, which it wasn't too far uh, to go to New York Comic Con. We decided to drive there. Um, so it was a bit of a drive. I'm not going to lie, but uh, it it definitely would have been if I was from the West Coast. Now nah, I'd be flying. Um, but yes, Columbus, Ohio. OG Viz all day long. Yes, that's right, my friend. He's such a good champion. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Node-wise. Doesn't seem like there's anything extraordinary. Ah, we'll fight the redhead ginger. How about it, guys? Contest champion says, still hoping you can come back to NYCC this year. Yeah, man, I honestly just, yeah, I just got to get the finances right and stuff. Uh, I would, dude, I would love it. Um, I'd love to come back out. It was awesome. Uh, I, I kind of know what to expect this year, so it might not be as bad. Um, <clears throat> I just got to apply for certain things, if you know what I mean. So, but, uh, but yeah, dude, like you kind of were showing me the ropes when we were there. So I do appreciate you um for doing that just everybody was awesome so i you know i had a great experience so that'd be incredible if i was able to uh get everything equipped to be able to do that just out of curiosity is it the same days as uh last year like in october i haven't really uh looked up on it or um for new york comic-con yet oh he was merciful, guys. No deal. When did you start playing? Oh man, I actually, uh, I actually remember this. Um, it was. I want to say it was either February of 2015 or it might have been even January of 2015. I'm not quite sure, but I played um, literally like a month or so after launch, um, which was December 10th of 2014. So I picked it up. Uh, I was actually living in Florida for a good 10 months 
and uh, I picked up the game there. I had a lot of free time. Um, I wanted to try something new. We kind of moved for work, and uh, I was I was kind of um, I don't know, just trying to find some downtime. And then I picked up this game, and I'm like, holy crap, it's awesome, you know. Um, and especially back then, like there wasn't really as many crazy mobile games going around and stuff so at the time with my lg 3 that i had i was like wow this is like the best thing ever so um but yeah it's been it's been over three years uh for sure for sure jamie young says yo 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 like 20 times yo what's up buddy <laughs> Good stuff. Death Junkie says, for me, it's a lot more than 500. Yeah, he's good. Can't justify the 500 bucks for the five star, though. Yeah, I mean, essentially, if you think about it, you guys actually have to pay, <laughs> I mean, to unlock it. So you have to pay 600 for it, you know? Um. Everybody's saying five hundred dollar vision, but I mean technically, you know, you're forced to. But see, if you have units already, then it, that might not be the case for you. So it depends. With magic, you really want to be careful. As I as I uh, Quaker out of the park here. Um, you want to be careful with blocked hits because if she throws a heavy attack, it's kind of hard to dodge. Um, of course, you let the passive evade take on the first portion of it, but then you have to go in and evade the second portion on your own. So, um, yeah, little uh, little Quake 101 there. Get magic on Hella. Speaking of magic, we'll play as magic. actually don't have Mystic Dispersion, um, but debating about going back to it, I really, I really don't know. Awesome, bypassed, how do you like that? Um, sometimes I've seen blocked hits uh, take out Hela, even when, you know, she's awakened and has her ability. It's, it's quite mysterious, it's, uh, keep that on the hush-hush, but, uh, yeah, it's almost like it works as if she was stunned, but sometimes better. I don't know. It, it can be rare, though, sometimes, too. Sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, I got the Master of Tasks. that L2. Good deal, good deal. What's up, Diego? Thank you for tuning in. And yes, uh, I believe you... Um, I think you asked me already, uh, but I'm doing good. It's... Uh, it's a Friday night, I can't complain. Um, did a lot of preparing for the stream, to be honest, tonight. I uh, I wanted to make sure it was approximately midnight. Get it? Ah, uh, get it? Um, I uh, picked up uh, my iPhone 8 Plus, because I was, I was in need for one, man. Like, I was working with a 32 gig uh, iPhone 7 Plus, and it just, it's not enough, guys. It's just... You know, videos, you got Snapchat, like everything else, you know, taking up space. I literally had about the equivalent of 
500 to like 200 megabytes all the time. And uh, up until the end, I actually had zero kilobytes. That's what it, you know, displayed as. So I was like, oh my gosh, I, I gotta fix this. I gotta really just go for something huge. So I got uh, the 256 gig, um, eight plus. And I, you know, I would have got the X, but my thing is, like the screen is much larger this way, you know, like with the eight plus, you have more screen. And, you know, I do the pop zooms for my action uh, based videos, so that's really important to me. And with the clip from the top and bottom, it just wouldn't look right, you know? Like, if you're pop zooming and the top and bottom portion, like, go away for a second and come back, it just wouldn't look right. So, I stuck with what I know, and uh, I, uh, I'm definitely pleased. I really like uh, the performance, you know? It's, I can tell it's a little bit quicker, it seems. Um, maybe I just kind of ran my 7 plus down, but um, regardless, it's, it definitely seems a little speedier, and I really like the True Tone mechanic behind the phone. I think the iPhone X does that too, but uh, it kind of makes it a little easier on the eyes. Um, if some of you have the 8 Plus, you know what I'm talking about. But you can actually turn it off and on. And I compared my two phones, and I'm like, holy crap. Like, yeah, I see what you mean. Like, it's like an ultraviolet blue, and then this kind of, like, dims it, but not really dims the brightness. It, like, dims the color. Like, the color correction's easier on the eyes, so. That was a large asteroid. Not the Mad Titan. Next time, you will not fool me so easily, says the bullfrog. And we got Rocket here saying, That's what you said the last 20 times, big guy. Gamora says, can you morons knock it off? We need to fill the summoner in on what's happening. Oh, don't worry. We know what the deal is. Then you know we're tracking the whereabouts of the Evolution Stone. According to my tracker, a minion of Thanos is close by, no doubt searching for the stone. Ooh, he's trying to get those Infinity Stones, guys. The puzzle pieces are coming together. Okay. Well, we have uh, Hyperion, the nameless Hyperion here. Um, aspect of evolution. So whenever this defender fills a bar of power, they raise their attack. Armor, critical rating, critical resistance, block, just a lot of things uh, by 5% for the remaining of the fight, for the remainder there. Uh, he's got strike back too, so okay. Uh, power shield, attackers, basic... Attacks deal no damage, but still generate power. And their special attacks deal 400% more. Okay. So, this is what I brought in magic for, guys. This is going to be extremely effective. Um, you want to lock his power. That's just the best way to go about it. And this is what I was saying earlier. It's probably a good thing to also have Mystic Dispersion, because I do not. So. Intercepts on intercepts, guys. It's a beautiful thing. Actually didn't get any power there, and that really threw me off because I looked down. Ah. And we might be able to clutch this, I don't know. I, I looked down because I, I saw that there was no power whatsoever. Alright, hype man. You're getting locked and drained. Holy crap. It's coming at me hard. And L1 for the finish, and we are good to go. Nailed it. 
Okay. Eh. Got a few hits in. No big deal. Okay, guys. So that is three down, three to go. We know which three those are. We've got on the horizon... Proxima... Proxima Midnight. It is, it is still midnight, practically. It's not 1 a.m. just yet. Uh, we got Corvus also, you know, uh, they're married, they're a couple, so uh, deal with one, deal with the other, that's how it is, that's how it works, even in all relationships, I, I hope, um, and then we have the Nameless Guillotine, the Nameless Guillotine is probably, from what I've heard, the toughest out of everything within the special event quest, so hopefully we don't have any two, like, problems that are going to be too much of a roadblock um we'll see i've only fought her in heroic guys so I, I really don't know what to expect um i just wanted to save this content you know like fresh and be kind of surprised with it as i go so all right uh we are going to go onward towards the buster of hulks And continue on. We got John Payne says, Morning Atromics. Wish you could intercept for me against the boss guillotine. <laughs> yeah, I, oh man. Well, we'll see what's going on with that. I really don't know what to expect. Um, if power gets out of control, which I believe it does, magic might be the MVP for the fight. I'm just, I'm just going off of experience though, so I have no idea yet. Burden of Might, the opponent's power gained by striking or being struck. Their opponent is reduced by 15% for each buff currently active on them. Additionally, each time a buff activates on them for any reason, they lose 25% of their max power. Okay. Good to know. So, we'll take in somebody that generates power. We'll take in Blade real quick for this fight. Buster here. Intercept. Okay. Good deal, guys. Good deal. I was watching the power meter. Um, it's kind of interesting. When you hear how a note is, sometimes you don't always like know until you see it type thing, so I was observing. Alright, let's let's get Quake up in here. Mix it up a little bit. Rocket usually goes in for the second punch. That's weird. Most of everyone does once you're up against the wall, so... That's nothing new, but... We'll see. Can we do it? Zero hit challenge? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. There it goes, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's technically zero hits, if you think about it. I've explained this before, but if if an opponent's already gone, you know, then they're gone before the hit was inflicted, but it still counts it, so, you know. All right. We've got Star-Lord here. Bio says, I'm a Brazilian fan. Thank you for tuning in all the way from Brazil, my friend. Also says, send me a hello. Hello, my friend. What is up? Thank you for tuning in. Mo Jones says, the power gain gives me... <laughs> I'm not going to go there, but but good to know. Good to know, I guess. Um, Pug Gamer says, you are my favorite YouTuber. Oh, dude, thanks. And uh, number one, Crystal <laughs> Opener and Fighter. Ah, uh, yeah. Dude, I, I try to make the light of a dark situation, so I might make it comical and post at it, but man, at that moment, 
I am like on fire when I freaking dude like when I pulled the bullfrog like I was just I couldn't believe it you know it was that was more of a saddening moment in, in a sense but um, the more I think of it I, I still have fun with Drax like he's a cool champion to play with especially as a six star um, he's not too bad of a fighter I'm actually currently using him in AQ um, just to kind of test him out and stuff so there's that Yeah, so when you dex, uh, you're definitely going to lose power from that. So that's that's one thing you got to watch out for. That's why, um, you know, doing the limbo lockdown, which is what I call it, um, would be really good for combating that. Okay. Same stuff. Um, we'll go in with OG Vision. I feel like it's National OG Vision Day. Like, the more we keep talking about them, like, everybody's like, yeah, did you get the $500 deal? Um, no. No. down. Oh no. I wanted that to be an L2. Yeah, it threw me off a little bit. And again with the L2, guys, that is a back-to-back -back special. That is why OG Vision is a true OG. He is so clutch. Let me tell you, that synthesis coming in is like, dude, it saves lives. Synthesis saves lives. I I'm making that a hashtag now. Synthesis saves lives. It's also a, a tongue twister if you think about it, but my goodness. Linda Chaw says, Drax is not the worst pickup. I totally agree. Um, there was much worse um, as an option. I tried to do a double charge there. Some attacks you can do that with. Some you just you shouldn't. Like Sentinel, Mephisto, they've got heavy attacks where you can do it. Um, Guillotine, not, not so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. The ground like just Oh man, I'm not even going to go there. That's crazy. Wow. Interesting, interesting stuff. You don't see that every day. <laughs> All right. Onward toward magic here. We're going to quake it out once again. The Intercept King, says Joseph, uh, um, there's a lot of good Interceptors, man, like, so many people, um, so many content creators, too, they're just, everybody's getting really good, and that's the way I like to see it, you know, um, over time, you kind of learn certain things within the contest, and, uh, fighting mechanics start to become more like a language, that's, that's how it's supposed to be, you know, the community's supposed to help each other all on that at the same time. So, double heavy attack there, and we are good. Shane asks, what's going on? Rotato chip. <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. No, I, I have. I think I have. What's up, man? Thank you for tuning in. We are just chilling like a villain. We are chilling like OG Vision. Hmm. Ah, let's use blade. Throw him in there. Oh man, 
just for the play. Hmm. I'm I was getting I was getting uh antsy with the intercept, but I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll throw another one, but nah. Not a bad turnout though. Mo Jones says, at least you didn't get a Colossus as a six star. <laughs> Yeah, I there I don't think there is one, is there? I don't think there is. You have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I yeah, I mean that would be that'd be a chunk of metal right there. All right. So, are you seeing this? Black Panther, indeed. Okay, so what's what's going on here? What's happening? Bucky you holding up okay? Better than ever. Got fixed up real good. Okay. You are my favorite patient, White Wolf. I love a pet project. Oh. Yeah, that's um it's really good that they they fixed him up. That was definitely definitely needed after uh the last movie. Um okay, so here we are with the Proxima Midnight. We've got... Oh, wow. Um, I just noticed, was was Guillotine up the whole time? I really hope not. I, I gotta go back and check now. This is crazy. I, I really hope not. That would be so, so bad. Okay. No, she wasn't. Just going through my own live stream right now real quick. Okay, yeah, I, I must have just clicked her. I was, like, freaking out for a second. I'm like, I really hope, like, the whole corner wasn't taken up by uh, Guillotine's face. Um, but real briefly here, we've got Proxima Midnight to the right. And it is practically midnight. It's, it's 1 a.m., but, you know. Um, she's just looking around. She's wondering where, um, you know, her boy is. She's looking for Corvus here. Um, he likes to pop up every now and then, you know, I don't, I don't know what they do. It's hard to tell, but regardless, we're going to go in here and she's got true strike combo shield aspect of death. As this defender activates a special attack, their successful hits become lethal for four seconds plus one additional second for each knocked out member of the attacker's team. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, let's do our best to boss it out with magic here. the SP-1, which I've seen a few times before um, in some of the lower rifts. There we go, connecting that L1 to more combos. Good deal. Guys, if you don't have a magic, you must get one. Straight up MVP. Um, now, I would never use a generic Awakening Gem on a five star one. I mean, not saying that it's a bad choice, but um, it's it can be really common to get her, so you've gotta like, be patient about it, you know what I mean? Like, you could literally pop her out of the next one that you open. Um, but she she deserves one, I'll say that. She deserves a generic Awakening Gem. Just, you know, it, they're so rare anymore to come by. Um, but yes, great champion. Definitely take her to the top as much as you can uh, for a lot of 
various fights and, and gameplay throughout all the different quests. So, okay, here we have Corvus, and he's probably not too happy. Um, we took out his, uh, his Proxima, his, uh, his Proxima Midnight. Uh, she's also back. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think he's happy at all. Let's go in and fight Groot. Terrence Embert says magic all day. That is right, my friend. Oh, dude. A Tromination badge looking sick, boy. That is what's up. And yes, thank you so much um, for sponsoring, my friend. I really appreciate that. Also, shout out to you, my friend. Um, you uh, actually donated via PayPal last, uh, last stream. And I, I do thank you for that. I want to make sure I give you credit for that. Um, anytime anyone does, I do give you out. I send an email with exclusive need to pay attention. Exclusive content um, on the channel, um, like wallpaper stuff, uh, graphics, myself as a hero, uh, just exclusive photos that you can have to kind of like either put on um, as a screensaver for your phone. Um, but yes, I've, uh, I've worked with a few different people. Uh, there's Q Lion, of course, and um, also, a couple graphic designers. I keep missing that, that bounce. Um, but yes, a uh, package was sent to him via email. So, hopefully you got that, uh, Terrence. Man. Trying to... Uh, talk and fight Groot sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Which way do we want to go? We could go this way, which... Not really much going on. Is it really the same? I think everybody's just got... the same nodes. Huh. It appears that way, anyway. Also just noticed... Oh, no, the game volume's good. I think it's good. Is How does um the, the game audio sound? I want to make sure that's squared away. Love from Naple Analyzer. Oh, dude, thank you for tuning in. Niraj, I think that is. So Iron Fist is one that very rarely will throw that second hit in until you're up against the wall. So you may as well just keep evading until you get back. There's just no point in uh, trying any other way with him. let go and he just falls down peacefully that is like the most humane way to knock someone out in this game just quake and then when they're stunned they just fall it's just a peaceful thing all right let's get through this By a long shot, brother. And yellow jacket is down.
Fazel Said says, hey man, you should be a part of a top alliance. Your gameplay is too perfect. Thanks, dude. I, you know, honestly, I know I've said this before, but, um, you know, playing with my crew that I play with, um, they're like family to me. You know, I've known them for over two years now, um, which is really crazy because not, not too many people can say that, um, you know, about a mobile game, but, uh, that's, that's the case for myself. And I feel like, um, you know, rewards and all this stuff, uh, you know, it's, it's okay, but instead of having like enhanced rewards, I'd rather play with a group of guys that I know and um, have associated with and that are like family to me. That that kind of comes first um, in my book. So that's, uh, well, that's why I've stuck it out um, with Outfit Omega. When I was, you know, of less, um, how should I say it, less of importance or less, you know, when I wasn't as skilled, and my profile was not near as beefed up as some of these other guys were. Um, when I first joined, you know, they took me up and, you know, they helped me uh, progress, you know, by taking us in. So, um, my previous alliance had, like, an exodus, and this was so long ago. But, uh, they, uh, they just kind of fell out one by one, so then a lot of our guys went over, um, including Goddess Jada. Um, to outfit Omega here, so then I've stuck it out ever since. I've only been on two alliances. The first one that I started, which was called a Tromination. It's it's actually still out there. Um, and uh, and then Outfit Omega. And I've tried to contact uh, the the leader now um, within a Tromination, but it's it's kind of stuck because this guy he hasn't gotten on and like. Oh my gosh, it's been like 400 days probably. Actually, you know, since we're talking about it, I'll, I'll briefly pull it up real quick. Because uh, I'm, I'm kind of interested in, uh, um, in seeing how many days it's been. Uh, his name is Mr. Dot Tifa. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Let's go to my old alliance, shall we? Atromination. Oh boy, what do we got here? Hello and welcome to a Tromination. Merry Christmas. Hold all crystals, rank ups, and level ups. <laughs> yes. Um, the week uh, everything collapsed, the exodus occurred, we were holding so that for summoner advancement we could score high. That was way back, guys. If you remember, if you were true OG of MCOC, you remember when you had to hold off for a week for summoner advancement. Oh man. But there he is, guys. 356 days ago. What? I, I had to look at that for a second. I'm like, wait, that's a no, it's not a whole year yet. It's uh, like nine days from a year. He's been out of commission for almost a year. So, yes. Um, this was the old alliance. Um, Mr. Tiffa here. Uh, if you're watching or listening or if, wherever you might be, or if somebody knows him, um, I would love for you to at least open the Alliance, my goodness, and let it kind of flourish a little bit. <laughs> All right. Samville says, hey, Atromix, do you remember me? Of course, man. Yeah, you were in some of the past streams here. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um... Got I lack skills. Yeah, I got to go do my grind, bro. Well, thank you for tuning in nonetheless. Appreciate you, man. Christian, love you, Analyzer. Love you too, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Rip Ford says, I just took my four-star Quake to rank five. Been practicing my Quake abilities. Hoping she'll be a good option against Sentinels and AQ. Yeah, yeah, man. She's, she's awesome. Um, you don't have to deal with their power. Uh... It's it's a win-win with her, you know, and especially since they've been um, kind of watered down a little bit, if you will. Uh, she's a great alternative for the Sentinels. They can be a pain if you have a champion that's not high-powered, per se. Um, but now you don't have to worry about their L3 either, so there's that too. Going with OG Vision here. It's Mikeish man says, I just realized this. 
this wasn't a video. Oh, dude. Well, I guess that's a good thing, right? Thank you for tuning in, nonetheless, my friend. Ah, uh, not as quick as I needed to be on the intercept. Let's try to block that first um, projectile because sometimes you can actually go in and uh, retaliate after his L1 uh, but if he pushes you off too far then it's you know it's kind of not possible at that point but But yes, no, you are tuning into a live stream, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. Joaquim Daniel Oliveria, I believe that is. Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, says, Subtromics, how you doing, bro? Thank you, man. Thank you for tuning in. I'm doing all right. Fire Blaster, Captain Crazy, what's up, Analyzer? Remember me? Oh, yes, dude. Yes, for sure. Are you going to open another six star feature crystal or basic? Um, asks Evo Dragon. Dude, that's a good question, man. Um, it's a really good question. I, I honestly. At this point, I can't truthfully answer that like like legitimately i can't be like okay i guarantee that this is what's going to happen but i mean i would like to say that i'm just going to go with the basic at this point um you know based on what i did pull which i mean you know drax the bullfrog he's not a bad pull it's just i already have him as a five star so it's like doubling up you know i would have just rather have gotten his ability but Either, either way, um, it's tough to say, man. I, I do kind of want to put my chances out there again for a second one for Void or somebody else. So I don't know, man. I might get tempted. I'm, I'm very patient, so I might just be holding them until, until I get to 15K. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's going to be a little bit, though, because I... I don't open too many five stars like like in dupe them, you know, so we meet again, human filth. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Proxima Midnight. Are these the Cretans you spoke of? Indeed, Corvus. This time, however, we're evenly matched. They do not have their friends to help them. Oh. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, I've got everybody here. <laughs> so. Uh, attackers struck by a special three are instantly knocked out. Yes. That is. That is amazing. That, that would be awesome. Enhanced special one. And two. Both unblockable, power start two. Okay, so she's going to have... All right. Yeah, she's going to start with her two, and mm, it's unblockable. Okay, so... Hmm. We're probably going to get blown out of the park here, but I just want to test things out. I want to see what's going to happen. I, I kind of forget her SP2, to be honest, guys. I have not fought her very much, so... Okay, that was a that was a mistake. Oh my goodness. Oh. Whew. That was a close call, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow.
All right, we gotta we gotta be careful. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Super clutchy, guys. Super clutchy. Can we do it? Can we do it? Proxima Midnight down, guys. Proxima Midnight down with a class disadvantage. What do you know? What's good? OG Visions, what's good, guys? Zero hits received, and I had no idea what was going on with that SP2. Um, I got freshly reminded, though, as uh, I was freaking out. But there you go, guys. That is Proxima Midnight for the kill. Analyzer, I'm a thousand five-star shards away from my first five-star champion. What do you think I'm going to get? Oh, man. Well, I would hope that uh, you pull something like Blade or Magic or Archangel. Um, even Ultron's good. Hopefully you get something God tier, man. Uh, I don't know if you have Star-Lord as a four-star, but he's really good for in-game stuff. Um, so hopefully, hopefully... You get a god tier champion. That'd be nice. Oh, of course. We have uh, no energy, so no big deal, guys. I got I got I got units, so it's all good. Erg. This one is feisty. Perhaps you'd like the pleasure of their destruction, Corvus. Oh. She called it like it was, man. Of course. Feisty, that's that's I mean that's an understatement for me, but I mean We'll, we'll, we'll let it go. No way we're going to stop us. Wait, no. He says, no way you are going to stop us. We're taking that stone and we're leaving you in our dust. I don't know what you've done to the battle realm, but you won't beat us. Foolishness and arrogance in equal measure, I see. The others my glaive has claimed were no different. Zooms in. Myself and those who have defeated are not death themselves, itself. We are the vanguards of it. This place is not dead yet, but it gasps for air. I will be the one to watch it draw its last breath. That's some pretty powerful dialogue, guys. Wow. Corvus Glaive here. Well. Wow. Been waiting for this fight. Defensive, the defender is more passive and excels at defense. Oh, yes. Okay, so he's going to be uh, really spamming the block. Okay. I think that's about it. Um, there's some boost, enhanced abilities, special three. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. I was going to say magic, but why don't we make things interesting? Let's go in with Quake, guys. Let's let's Quake it out and uh, see what happens here. Corvus Glaive. In the flesh. That is some heavy damage, though, uh, that blocked hit. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was a huge blocked hit, guys. Oh, dang. Uh, Corvus Glaive. Uh, I'll give it to him. He... That heavy attack was mainly what, what uh, screwed me up. It's a three-hit heavy attack. I mean, come on. Mm, what's going with magic? Yeah, he's a little defensive for sure. Holy crap. I don't even think I could parry anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this beam. Okay. 
so that's the SP1. Uh, reminded uh, about that. Okay, SP2. I um, I don't really recall either. I can't say that I ever um, I ever had him perform it. I think I might have in the riffs. Yeah, that is, it's just, the timing, it's going to take a little bit of practice on that. Alright, SP2 coming in hot. What's it going to be? Because I totally forget right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, the best content is the kind that you're unprepared for. Awesome. So, a teleport dash. I love it. I love it. Corvus Glaive, finally down. He put up a good fight, though. I honestly mainly wanted to kind of learn and uh, experience some of his moves because I haven't done so at a high caliber yet. Um, so this is the first time, really. That is Corvus Glaive. Also known as Corvus Grape, I believe. <laughs> I think that's a yeet thing. All right. KG says, SP2 is just distance, no projectile, I think. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of Hyperion, how he lunges out like that. You just got to be watchful um, and evade at the proper time. So, cool. His first SP1 is like Voodoo Special 2. Okay. Yeah, that that is true, actually, Evo, Evo Dragon. That makes sense because, you know, he pushes it out after uh, attacking... Fire Blaster Captain Crazy says, Nice analyzer. Are you planning on doing 100%? Um, not tonight. I do actually have to wake up for work um, in the morning. So, um, But I'll definitely at some point soon cover that um, in a later stream. I just wanted to get through the main portion of things here and uh, do a completion run for you guys because it is getting a little late into uh, the month. Um, I think there's like anywhere between 10 days or so, or maybe less now, um, left of this, so, definitely wanted to make sure I got it in. Could have launched the SP2, but eh, Gwenpool, you know how she is about special attacks. Jonathan Luna says, any thoughts on 5-star OG Vision? Yes. Uh, so, I was kind of explaining things a little bit earlier, but yeah, I, I mean, if money is no object to you, then okay. Or if you have 15,000 units handy and you're not planning on spending it on anything else and you've got other in-game content like the Labyrinth and everything else finished, then yeah, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with uh, forking over 15k units for that. Um, OG Vision is definitely a great champion. I, for myself though, feel that he's just, I mean, as a four star, he's already good enough like that's that's good enough for me like his abilities are where it's at his abilities is what makes him the champion he is so um if you have him in general now three star is a little low because that would take a lot of a lot of a lot of combo hits there but i mean a four star is generally a rank three five star so unless you plan to awaken him and take him to rank four 
he's not really worth the expenses at the moment, so. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, literally, if you don't have, like, any units at all, um, or don't at least have an Odin, and, like, an Odin's worth, you're looking at trying to spend, like, $600, because you gotta unlock the four-star. Like, I have to repurchase the four-star to get him, and then get the five-star. Um, because the offer does not relinquish itself until you do, so. I don't know if that would be... Um, I think it would be 20 ability points. I would hope it would be 20 ability points if you purchased him again, so... But that's hard to tell. Not not for me to get into, really. I just... I mean, that, that's just so much money. But yes, overall, if you got a four-star, I'd say go with that. Get his ability up, rank five him, you're good. Let's see if these nodes are any different. Nope. We'll take on Psylocke here. Mario says, hello, I'm Mexican. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in from, well, I'm not sure where you've, you are actually at, but um, wherever you're from, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we also have Sam Bell. Um says the analyzer they're gonna add sorry I'm, I'm fighting at the moment I was gonna catch that here in a second good old Psylocke it's gonna do it yes it will 25k damage that is crazy Analyzer, they are going to add Infinity War, Captain America, and Iron Man. i seen it on a Contest of Champions ad. Yes, that is awesome, man. I, I really hope uh, they have some great abilities. I would love to see, um, you know, like everything about them and what they're capable of. So, hopefully they do them justice. I mean, they, they serve justice, right? <laughs> so... But uh, yeah, very, very interested to see um, ability-wise what all they plan to do. like nothing. Oh man, just for the troll. Heavy attack and SP2 just for the troll. Gotta love it. That's that's what I call a trick shot right there. Rachel says my alliance mate got a five star mystic awakening gem from a rift. Oh wow. Congrats to them. That's awesome. I would uh, be saving that for uh, Voodoo or Magic, for sure. It's so funny, because, like, Voodoo and Magic is, like, that's technically the same thing. If, if people didn't even know what we were talking about, like, you know, like a champion in the game, they'd be like, wait, save it for Voodoo Magic? Wait, what, who? What? It's the same thing. Like, what? <laughs> but, yeah, those are those would be really good champions uh, to use that on... Also, uh, poor Mamu wouldn't be too bad, like, because he's a really good defender. Um, see how much we can blast with this SP2. Uh, not quite there. Come on, Cable. 
like I love you, you're my top, one of my top dudes, but the SP1 sometimes, knock it off. Like, I'll evade it, you know, I'll let it blow me back like it's supposed to, because if you, if you evade it when you're in close range, you will get hit with it. Um, I know a lot of you guys already know this, but, um, you gotta, like, let it blast you back a little bit, and then you can evade it. Um, but if you're already back towards, like, you know, a screen length away, then you can evade it, so... It's just really wishy-washy sometimes. That's why I like him for defense, you know? He can be kind of nasty sometimes. Wait a minute, what was that? Trying to figure out how he hit me. That was cool. still kind of getting used to this phone. Um, I don't have the same case that I once did. So it's a little bit slippery um, compared to my OtterBox Defender case. They didn't have any in stock um, at the Sprint store, not even at Best Buy, surprisingly. And I did not mean to parry, but it happened anyway. Let's punish him for that. How didn't the thing do a reflect stun, says Fire Blaster. So, um, if he doesn't have his armor equipped, and, and he did at the very end there, that's why it triggered. Um, if he does not have armor up, then you are free to parry him. It's free game. So, parry away, um, but once he gets armor up, you want to be watchful of that. Bait out combo hits to get a heavy attack thrown at you, and then go in. Um... So, yes, just keep that in mind. We'll get one more energy pack to go, and we should be all right. Let's see. Whom shall we fight? Okay, we've got Nameless Groot, Scarlet Witch, Hyperion with Stun Immunity, and Immune to Poison. I mean, he already is, so, like, that's really unnecessary, but okay. <laughs> Um, so, I'm actually going to, uh, I, I want to let you guys decide. Who should we fight before we go on to Nameless Guillotine? Anybody have any suggestions? I'm up for anybody, really, at this point. Patrick says, I got a phone holder shaped like an Xbox controller. That's awesome. Um, I actually, uh, for, um, an iPad, I've got, like, that mount thing because the OtterBox has a way you can place it and, and, uh, kind of stand up. So it's, it kind of works the same way. People are saying Hyperion, King Groot, anything but Hyperion. <laughs> Remove stun makes her the easiest Oh, I see what you mean. Well, I mean, we kind of want to, like, make it a little bit difficult. Because I was trying to, um... I was trying to get the full effect, if you know what I mean. So, like, stun immunity is a big issue. Um, so I know, like, for, you know, making it easier, yeah, t definitely being able to parry... Uh, would uh, would make it a lot easier to fight her. Um, but let's see, we've got immune to poison, immune to bleed. So okay, if I go vision, that's gonna it's gonna be like nothing happened because I don't have any champions that can poison her. Um, so I think I'm going to do that, just so that it makes it a little more tough, because I want, I want it to kind of be tough. Um, if I go Scarlet Witch, immune to bleed, oh. Yeah, see, if I, but if I go there, then, you know, I got Blade as an option, and then it's just, it gets kind of savage, you know, like, um, 
you know, 100% style, 100% savage. I just, I, I want it to, like, I want to experience the full guillotine, like, what everybody has to deal with. So, if going uh, OG Vision would be the best to make it as tough as possible, I should probably do that. I, I mean, wouldn't you guys agree? And make her bleed immune and go in with blade. Yeah, yeah, I could. Um, he's definitely going to need healed. <laughs> but uh, go savage on that King Groot. Go with vision then. Vision. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's go with vision. So now it's going to be as tough as it can possibly be for our scenario here. There's no fraction small enough to express our chance of defeating me, Summoner. He said your chance. Um, okay. Well. You've got synthesis and stuff, okay. There's not even a fraction of a chance, man. Come on. You gotta give me something here. Let's go in with OG going to do an OG versus OG combo. Oh, I see that. Got to sneak in with a heavy. Try to swipe back. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, guys, once I get my Otter Box, because um, right now I'm running the Commuter, um, if you guys know what that is, it's kind of like the Defender, but not as... Um, not as protective. I'm just so used to having like a little bit more of a handle, more grip. And things can get a little bit slippery, man. When I'm going for the perfect intercepts, like it just gets a little slippery. So <laughs> I need as much grip as possible. Let's throw him through that wall. All right. Not a bad fight. Not a bad fight. Fire Blaster Captain says, yes, my mind would be blown if the one star won. <laughs> Are we talking about really want to see one star versus six star? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that... Whew. I don't know about that, guys. That's insane. I mean, a one star, like you gotta think, doesn't have their ability, you know, so... Uh, the power would go out of... It would go in, can, insane. I don't even know if that's possible. Guillotine, finally. It's you. Oh. Bonjour, Doctor. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking French now. Or, or, you know, the tongue. Anyway. The accent. It was you. You tricked me, but why? What is the meaning of all this? What has Thanos done to you? Who are you? Uh, French. Okay. Vos, vos, jets, does, or dans la. Wow. I'm about to, I'm kind of curious, guys. I don't know if anybody uh, actually read some of the dialogue, but I'm kind of curious. I don't know about you. It's important to uh, know what's being said here. Maybe somebody uh, is from France that would be able to actually read this. If 
You throw yourself into the mouth of the wolf. Oh. That's what it meant. Oh. Oh boy, she doesn't look too friendly. Tell me this is just a bad dream. <laughs> Some people probably wish it was. Who we are is unimportant. We are nameless, and your nightmare has only just begun. <sighs> Tromination. She's, uh, speaking a different language. She's nameless. We don't know too much about her. All we know is that she's going to be stun immune. She's going to recover health. And we've got Spectra, a lingering ancestral curse. Reverses the effects of all healing abilities. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, Blade's going to get... <laughs> oh, man. Well, unless um, his signature ability doesn't turn that off. If it bypasses it, then should be all right. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Stun immune. Immune to bleed. At the start of the fight, the attacker's block proficiency begins to decay to zero over 50 seconds. And this defender is unblockable against enemies with zero block proficiency. In addition, this defender gains unstoppable and stun immunity for six seconds when activating a special attack. The unstoppable effect is removed prematurely if the player intercepts any dash or heavy attack. Oh, so, okay, intercepts really, really help here. Okay, nice. Good to know. This defender is more aggressive and excels at offensive abilities like heavy and dash attacks. And her, uh, Soul charges never expire. Okay. All right. Good to know, guys. Good to know. Um, Sebastian says magic. Yes. I. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Like, could this be possible with magic? Is she classed as villain, though? Hmm. Um. Well. Yes, she is. She is a villain. Because she's part of Thanos' Black Order. So, Blade, it'd be okay. But I kind of want to see what's going to happen with with magic. I kind of want to see. I don't know. I'm also really tempted with Quake, guys. I'm really, I'm really tempted. I mean, if Quake took care of this, like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But either way, like, I don't want to just, like, um, if something's not going to work, not go with that. Um, hmm. Okay. Yellow Jacket, someone, um, Akash says, okay. No magic, please. It's easy. Yeah. Well, yeah, if, I mean... <laughs> yeah, if, if you go in with magic, I mean, you got the perfect intercept going on. Um, so I agree, kind of, but... <sighs> Alright, guys, let's, let's go in with Quake. We're gonna go in with Quake. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna happen within 50 seconds, though. That's the issue. Oh my gosh. That was a terrible idea, guys. I keep treating her like Mephisto. That, okay, that was really bad. Um, the heavy attacks were the issue. And it's because I kept naturally charging in the middle of them. And I do that for Mephisto because it works. Um, but it, it's, it doesn't work with guillotine. Okay, that was really bad. Well, guys. Um. Why don't we take OG Vision in real quick? I just want to test out the options that aren't going to, like, that are going to be a little trickier. Nope. Ah, alright. 
Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, I was thinking about Star-Lord because of his damage output and... <sighs> Man, this is rough. Yeah, yeah, Gilly, Gilly's definitely mad. I, it's because I interpreted um, her little uh, French dialogue. It was supposed to be a secret. She wasn't... We, we weren't supposed to know that we were heading into the wolf... Is it wolf pack, I think it was? I forget. Oh my gosh, why? What was that? Dude, guys, I promise you I didn't throw a heavy attack. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta clean this. <laughs> oh man, I love the iPhone 8 right now, but... Oh. oh, okay. Magic time. It's time for the magic show, boys and girls. Positive attitude, guys. Let's do this. Unstoppable. What? Dude, this champion is out of control. <sighs> okay. I can see why people have had an issue. It's not the best of moments. Uh, at least it's the first of items used. I'm not... It could be worse, right? Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to hold on to the block because it's going to actually make it so that I lose health because it reverses healing effects. Okay. Alright guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going to try with magic again. And I've got to load her up with some health. Okay, we mean serious stuff here. Let's let's get into this boost. I'm going to throw a 10% on. I should cover it, guys. I'm I'm hoping anyway. Because I swipe back and like she still got me. Like her sword is just so freaking long. Like it's like twice the size of magics. Oh my goodness, stop it. Right now. So bad. It's so bad, guys. What is happening right now? What is happening? I don't even like, this chick is French. She's nameless. I'm not from this country. What's going on? I don't, I'm not, I don't even know. Guys, I don't even know what hit me. I mean, it's pretty savage. I'll, I'll give it that, but... All right. Enough of the charades, though. We need... We need some firepower. We need some firepower. And I want to keep him just below half so that courage kicks in. Yes, Sebastian, I know. Hit her, don't get hit yourself. I get it. Yes. Okay. Hey guys, I mean, 
This is my first gameplay of her. I'm like experiencing her at full capacity. You have to give me at least a little bit of credit for boldness. I mean, she is like unstoppable Colossus right now. Except, definitely worse. Love tap there doesn't hurt. Oh my gosh, dude. And the blocked hits are like pretty crazy as well. Dude, are you serious right now? What? <sighs> dude, blocked hits taking like couple thou, man. Like, are you kidding me? I really don't want to, I mean, you know what? No, this this has to get done. <laughs> this has to get done. So we take the Lord of the Stars back in the ring. There we go. There we go, guys. <sighs> Guillotine down. <sighs> wow. I was giving her little little love taps, you know, um, in between that unstoppable. It kind of helped with my ego a little bit. All right, guys. So that is uh, the completion of this wretched quest. It was not bad up until, you know, all this nonsense with uh, Nameless Guillotine, so... Whew, pretty crazy stuff, man. Pretty crazy. Um, so there's our rewards. We got some ISO, got some gold, four and five star shards, and six star shards. We got tier two alphas, tier five basic catalyst fragments. That's the important thing. Um, then we have some tier 4 chaos crystal shards and 10 five star signature stone crystals. So, oh, and then we have, oh boy, yeah. For, um, for nearly an Odin, you can possibly get a five star champion. Only, only, uh, a f like one out of five. Uh, I just, I'm not. Uh, stuff like that, man. I'm good. Okay, well, um, man, we, we we're, see, we're 3k away from uh, Master Mode Rift. I gotta actually complete this all the way through before that. Um, but yes, guys, we, um, we completed this. I definitely want to do content on this and the next one, as well as the Chadwick and Tom's Champion Challenge. Um, and just go from there because there's a lot of content to cover when it comes to next month, obviously. And, uh, man, as of right now, um, I kind of hopped into it in the middle of the month, which is not as bad as, uh, Rise of the Black Panther doing it the last day of, um, but definitely not like, like last time, unfortunately. I did 23 days out, uh, with the last special event quest, so that wasn't too bad. Um, Fire Blaster says, Analyzer, before you end this vid, shout out for me. Gumbaloo? Is that what, what that is? Okay, shout out to Gumbaloo. Appreciate you for tuning in. Um, good job. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you, my friend. Brandon Lee says, Bring Ghost Rider with Blade. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, th th see, this was the hardest of um, the nodes to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's uh, it's going to only get easier because she had, like, everything in the book. She was bleed immune, stun immune, just everything. So, um, yeah, so that was that was the toughest version of her, guys, just so you know. Um, 
just out of curiosity, though, I want to check how we're doing on crystals because... It's been a while since I've um, I've checked into the stash. Got to claim the uncollected. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. In this, um, most of the time I like to finish uh, with a crystal or something. You know, just something something out of the blue. Um, I'm really debating if I should uh, open one of these or save for a featured five-star here crystal. I really... it's it, I'm on the border with it, guys. I really don't know. Um, because... Lately, my pulls have been decent. They've been okay, but... I mean, you guys know what I want. I'm, I'm trying to fulfill the Trinity, you know? Um, I'm trying to get Stark Spidey, you know? So... And so many people have had him for months, so it's like... Oh, jeez. Um, but, yes. I don't know um, if it's the best option. I think it refreshed. Um, to open a featured 5-star to possibly go for Void... Um, or MODOK. Those are really the only two that I, I would want out of this because everything else is in here, you know? It'd be going for Void since I didn't get him as a six star. So, Terrence Embert says go for the regular. Yeah, I totally agree, man. Open the five star, bro. Fire Blaster, Captain Crazy, you're the best MCOC player. Thank you, man. Uh, Slack Starfish says the basic is the way to go. Features aren't good anymore. Yeah, man. They, I mean, there's only one, there's only two features, man. Like, there's Modoc or Void. Like, which is it going to be, you know? Um, but it's because it's been out for like 80 days or however long it was. Um, so, yeah. But uh, let's, just for good luck, let's spin out a four star here, Crystal. Um, maybe it'll mirror off what, what we will we'll be pulling, maybe? I don't know. Um, we're just gonna do one of these, and then we'll get into that five-star Hero Crystal. Hoping for Stark Spidey all the way. Um, I definitely want to get him up on the reel right there. That is the man we want, Stark Spidey on the corner. Four Star Crystal is stopping, and we are pulling. Oh God, no! <sighs> Guys, I. So the the part I said about the mirroring, uh, no, wait, what? Nobody heard that. Um. Oh my goodness! If we pull Iron Patriot. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with myself. Um, anyway, let's get on with this crystal, guys. It is after 2 a.m., so I'm not going to hold up your guys' time any longer. Let's get this crystal. Let's hope for that man over there. Stark Spidey all the way, guys. Stark Spidey. Let's go. Putting the phone down. And I'm really hoping, really hoping, guys, that if not Stark Spidey, we can at least get a God Tier champion of some sort. So I just saw Modok in the reel. Okay, so Modok is even in this. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. He just was added. Dude, if we could pull Modok, I would actually be really happy. I'd be happy with Modok, Mephisto. Surprisingly, I wouldn't even really mind Ronin dupe. Um, I like I have him at rank three unduped, so that would be good too. Here we go, guys. What are we pulling? There goes Modok, She-Hulk, Mordo. Oh, 
I don't know, what do you what do you guys have to say about this? <sighs> oh my goodness. Well it wasn't uh it wasn't Iron Patriot, I guess. Arena points, guys, arena points. Positive attitude. That's where it's at. <laughs> oh King Groot. Okay. I can live with that. It's all right, guys. Five stars are five stars. I've got quite a few of them. So, it's it's not the worst. It's not the worst, guys. Like, I'm, I'm not going to complain, okay? Um, but, yeah, that is that. Just is that. Um, checking if we got notifications. King Groot, thank you for gracing the presence of my roster, your royal highness. <laughs> He's uh, very kingly. A man dip, uh, Dylan says, it could have been a green bullfrog. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. You're right. It could have been. Um, Jonathan Luna says one more. If there is any, no, no. That was that was all. I honestly wasn't going to open it, but I was kind of feeling in the mood. I was like, ah, maybe after dealing with uh, Guillotine, you know, maybe maybe they'll kind of grace me with that Stark Spidey I'm longing for. I don't know. But nope, nope. We'll uh, take him off of the stream there. Okay, guys. Well, nonetheless, we got through the completion of Infinity Chaos Uncollected. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. It's been real, as always. And, uh, yeah, we, we got a bullfrog. We didn't use him in this, um, but that's okay. I've used him in AQ a little bit. Uh, no harm, no foul there. He does pretty good with Sentinels. Um, but, nonetheless, guys, I want to thank you all for tuning in, as usual. And, also... As I go over to the new sponsors, I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank Goddess Jada. Thank you so much. Anyone who donated, thank you all for super chatting. Really appreciate you. Um, we have Enben Mohanty, Terrence Embert, now um, a part of a trauma nation in the sponsorships. Um, before we had Jacob Webster, Deadpool, John Silva. Christian Escamilia, Roasted Bagel, God of Chaos, Doc82, and Green Cran. Thank you all so much for your sponsorships. I really appreciate it. Um, and as I said before, the Voidalizer is now unlocked. For moments, like when I pull a King Groot, you know, you can flash that up on the screen for all to see. And uh, they kind of release a little bit of emotions behind the frustration. So... Once again, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. For more content to come, please subscribe to the channel. There it is, the analyzer, as you all know. Thank you all again for tuning in. We'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned for more amazing content to come. You guys have a good evening and a great rest of the weekend. Take care.